Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson. Before and today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up the VEPR. Now, this weapon, I suggest to use it from medium range to short range. If not, uh, if you use it from long range, you're pretty much gonna fail. Now, if you saw my gameplay that was posted earlier today, you should learn that most of the situations were from medium range. And most of the time, they were successful. I ended up taking out the enemy, I got my kill, and I ended up going over to my next streak, to my next kill streak. So, do not even bother with long streak because there was uh, long long range. Because most of the time you can end up, you know, your guns can end up shaky. You're not gonna be able to see the the enemy, and the enemy's gonna take you down if they're ha they have like an LMG or a sniper. So I suggest to keep everything from medium to short. All right, do not bother using this weapon on Stonehaven. Don't go out out there, be like Rambo, and you think you're Chuck Norris that you can just take out anyone. No, do not even bother doing that. You saw me fail from long range so do not think that oh you know you know i can do whatever i want with this weapon because you know it's joe <laughs> or you know if he says so uh no you know trust me if long range is weak medium range and short range are pretty powerful most of the time which is pretty weird because you think that uh you know all smgs are just strong from from short range and then they get weaker from medium range and then, then they get more weaker from long range well apparently not with these kinds of attachments that i'm about to tell you guys now these attachments will actually make this gun stronger from medium range to short range now listen up rapid fire will actually help you out from short range you're going to be able to take out enemies at the quicks and you don't have to worry about short range at all because you're always going to be taking out enemies from short range you know from the face you're going to surprise them and they're going to be like what the fuck how the hell did this guy have to, you know took, took me out like how, how did it happen well the rapid fire is always going to be there for you from short range now the muzzle break now this adds range to your weapon which allows your weapon feel like it's just an assault rifle or something well the muzzle brake adds damage and range which allows you to shoot from medium range now without it you actually feel like the weapon is just used for short range and that's it you're just gonna use it for short range well no add the muzzle brake and it will, it will add more confidence to you now you're gonna be able to take out enemies from medium range and you're gonna be able to take out enemies from you know from certain angles you didn't believe that it's gonna happen because it's an smg so trust me, add the muscle break and you should be able to take out enemies from medium range. That's what I'm trying to do in this best class setup by making this gun stronger from range. The next thing I want to talk about is about the secondary. You can have whatever secondary you want. And um, personally myself, I have the P225 with the Akimbo's. Now, I suggest, I'll give you like an extra tip right now, guys. I suggest to go with the Akimbo pistols. Now, Akimbo pistols are more stronger than a single pistol. I know it eliminates the range, but overall, if you're almost like, all, most of the time, if you're like a, you're holding an assault rifle or an LMG, and you feel like all oh, these kinds of guns will not take out enemies from short range, always have a Campbell pistols backing backing up your your LMG or sniper rifle. Okay, they're strong, they're they're um, pretty much trustable from short range. They're very trustable. So uh, so yeah, make sure you have a Campbell pistols. Moving on to our lethal and tactical, you can have whatever you want, but I suggest to have these kinds of lethal and tactical equipment. If not, you're not going to be able to secure the area like I've been showing you in the gameplay. Now, that's the reason why I wanted to do this, uh, you know, class setup for you two guys uh, to play some free for all and TDM and not worry about anything about the area because most of the time, what you're going to do is secure the area. That's it. That's what you're going to be doing with this class setup. You can have the IED and the motion sensor. The motion sensor is pretty much like a warning sign. You know, it's just what it's telling you, like, watch out, there's someone behind you, and you just turn around and you just take them out because they don't know what they, they stepped onto, and they're gonna be like, what the fuck, you know? Oh shit, you know, he knows where I'm at, and then bam, you surprise him. So use the motion sensor as warning lights. That's pretty much it. It's gonna help you out, you know, be more aware of your surroundings. Well, the other one, the IED, is like a bouncing betty, so it's going to allow you to get that extra kill, and then bam, you just, like, out of nowhere, get a kill streak. So it is pretty much, you know, important to have these two equipment, because if not, you're going to be pretty much, like, uh, just running out there with a with a chicken without its head. So I suggest to add these lethal and tactical. If you add a grenade, if you add semtex, if you add, uh, you know, a flashbang, most of the time those stun grenades don't even work. Even though they're like a few feet away from them, sometimes they don't even work. So I suggest to switch over to motion sensor and the IED. It's going to scare them a little bit more. So they're going to be like not very confident on the battlefield.
so add these two lethal and tactical now on the perks you must have sleight of hand in order for you to you know reload as quick as possible the incog is very important also because you're going to be surprising a lot of enemies once they're trying to like like scan the field with when they're aiming down the field they're not going to find you because your name is not going to pop out you're not going to be uh, shown on uh, you know on the what's it called on the infrared site you're not going to be shown by motion sensor or nothing like that no thermal scope no tracker site nothing's going to track you down so make sure you install the incog all right it is very important you can scare the shit out of your enemies and it's going to be pretty funny trust me i've done it so many times they're, they're like what the fuck i didn't even see him that's because your name will not appear every time they aim at you. That's what incog is. The next one will be focus. Now focus, it is pretty perfect for free for all because it does reduce the weapon's sway. So you're always going to be aiming as quick as possible. It's like, for example, this is dexterity from Black Ops 2. That's pretty much it. That's quick draw. And I have a feeling focus is way better than quick draw. I've been doing a lot better than quick draw. Sometimes I feel that like quick draw is not even working. Then I'm like, you know, I need something else besides quick draw. So, in another video, guys, I'll explain focus and quick draw. Which one's better, all right? And I'll test it out for you guys, and it will take me a week for sure, or a few days, and I'll let you guys know which one's better, all right? So most of you guys can stop using quick draw and use focus, so you can have an extra perk, um, you know, space. The next one you're gonna have is the extra tactical. In order for you to have two um, motion sensors, you're gonna have to add the extra tactical. Now this is going to allow you to have more warning lights out there, you know, more warning signs that someone's coming behind you. So it is important to have the extra tactical or you can have whatever you want, but I suggest to have the extra tactical so you can have more warning signs out there. So this all for now guys and also the strike package, you can have whatever you want, whatever you feel confident using and you can use support, strike or specialist, you can use whatever you want, right? So this all for now guys, you guys want more best class setups of the Call of Duty weapons. Please subscribe for more. There's going to be more strategies, more tips for you guys so you guys can become better in Call of Duty Ghost Online. And you're going to be feeling like a pro out there because most of you guys are going to call you hacker. I've been called hacker most of the times in the past four Call of Duties and, uh, and the, I mean, the past three Call of Duties. And, you know, it's a wonderful feeling because you're really not using any kind of hacks. So it is a funny situation and you're going to feel, you're going to be feeling like a fucking boss. So, uh, so yeah, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, tell me what's up. And uh, please tell me what gun to use next, and I'll use it. I've been already. I already have a request by Cruel Seven Chavez to use the AK-12, which I'll probably be using this whole week. So I'll see you guys later, and enjoy your day.